Hey everyone, it's Zach from Zach Green's Reptiles. I'm gonna do a quick video of our second clutch of the year to hatch. Um, I know I haven't done a video on the first clutch, which was a pair of redheaded martyrs. We did get eight healthy babies out of that clutch, and I'll probably do a video after they have a few meals and they shed and just kind of look look their best because with with martyrs, I mean they're such quality high end animals that they look great as babies. They look great even before their first shed, but after their first shed they really start to pop a little bit so i'm going to wait until then to take that video but in this one it's really something i was not expecting uh, we have a split parthenogenesis clutch so if you don't know what that is uh, parthenogenesis is when the female simplified um, will produce a baby without any um anything from the male so half part of this clutch is sired by the male part of this clutch is pretty much a clone of the female, which is River, the uh, matrix, possible T-positive albino. So when this happens, um, it'll duplicate some of the genes inside the female. So um, she won't be able to produce any matrix animals. She won't produce any het T-positive animals if she was het. Um, she would either produce ivories, normals, T-positive if she proved, or completely non-T positive, no hats. So um, let's do this video. I'm gonna show you some of the animals and at the very end, I'll show you some of the really nice surprises that I did not expect to get. All right, let's get started. All right guys, so um, these are the first two babies I'm gonna show. These are the only two normals out of the entire clutch. Uh, this one is a male and this one is a female and with partho babies, they all have to be females. So this is potentially a partho baby, we're not sure. And there really is no way to prove it out right now. Um, I don't know if there is a way to prove it out ever. Um, but this is a female, this is a male. So this one was sired by the male of the clutch. This one was either sired by the male or is a clone of the female in the normal version. All right, let's get some other animals out. All right, so I'm gonna show you a handful of matrix animals. Um, the matrixes are not partho babies because it has to duplicate the female. So since she's matrix, it would either have to duplicate the normal gene, which would be a normal, or duplicate the matrix gene, which would be an ivory. So all the matrix animals are sired by the male of the clutch. So here's one, a really nice pixelation on them. These babies are really pretty docile for the most part. You can see the pink tongue that's known on the matrixes. All right, let's pull one more out. All right, here is another little matrix. He's a little bit more agitated, but um, he's good. Really nice pixelation. There really is great pixelation on all of these. I just kind of love the patterns of the matrixes. I think it's a really underrated gene. gonna run through these really quick since they're all very very different but they're all the same they're all matrixes there are males and females of the matrix Try to keep them in frame. All right, so that's all I'm gonna show you on the matrix. Um, there were about a total of, I believe, seven of them. There was, um, we had, let's see, 14 babies hatched from this clutch. 
Here's one of this one is a toss up between if he is a golden eye or a 007. Pattern really looks like a 007. Um, the tongue is not quite as light and pink as some of the um, other 007s in this clutch. This one's more of a light purple. So it's really hard to tell on this one if it is a 007 or not. Um, 007s are Matrix and Golden Eyes. Really nice pattern on that though. This is for sure a 007. It's got a nice pink tongue if he wants to flick it out. Absolutely beautiful animals. I love all that rosy blushing it has all along the heads. This one's tongue is really, really bright pink. I love all those random splotches of black on some of these. But again, this is the 007. It's thinking about going to the bathroom on me. But for hatchling uh, blood pythons, these are really pretty laid back. And I'm going to show you the last 007 of the clutch. It's got a little bit more pattern on it. it. Has similar colors to what the sire had right here when he was a hatchling. Just absolutely beautiful animals. All right, now I'm gonna pull out the two big surprises of the clutch. Here we have a really reduced pattern um, ivory. Nice robust baby, uh, very healthy. So I really hope they do well. I know um, in some species the uh, partho babies don't do well. They either don't eat or they don't consistently eat. But um, I'm hoping these two do really well. And of course these two are females. And now this one is probably my favorite. Another pretty reduced pattern. animals. I definitely did not expect to hatch ivories out of this. I was expecting normals, matrix, golden eyes, and 007s only. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you've got any comments on that partho stuff, please just leave them in the comment section below. Um, I'm still kind of learning on it myself. And we will see you next time. Thanks.